So if you look at this next slide, this really makes it clear. This, these are neurons. Okay, and you see them moving. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the same, it's, this, it's also in the brain. If you were dead, there'd be no movement. Um, and that, what you're seeing there is things growing. That's what's happening in your brain at speeds that are very, very fast. You're growing little branches, those branches. So it's growing and it's, it's building constantly. You're building now. You're non -stop. doing that nonstop. What causes it to develop your and build? thinking, feeling, and choosing. Because so, if you're dead, it doesn't happen. So let me ask you, does this mean the more I'm learning and reading, is it building more? More, all the time. You're doing it all is day long. Is there a way to measure three brains of one developing versus one not? Yeah, we can see how? that. We can see a response. Your brain, you see, the, you've the done brain. The you see it like I, I work with scientists. I'm doing my own research now. We see that with, you see brain thickening, you see changes. That's, you see, that's fascinating Ned, right there because yeah you, you actually see I've got another slide over here um, we'll well okay we've got another slide okay we have to pause this edit this thing there's another slide that shows an inside the actual brain I don't have it over here but you can actually see what you're asking me um, let me see if it's over here here we go okay this is fascinating yeah, that's okay. intense to me yeah it is intense and this is what people don't realize but you're doing that you drive you know what it. that means that means when you're thinking you're reading, learning more. Your brain is building growing. and growing, growing more muscles. It's growing, not even, it's growing branches. It's growing computers. And those computers, so you, this is inside your brain. You've got infinite space in your brain. You're designed to think. You're supposed to think. You're supposed to grow your brain. One of the biggest aspects of mental health that is the wow. most undealt with aspect of mental mm -hmm. health that I've been fighting for 30 years to get out into, into people's minds and, and, and understanding that I do with my research is building your brain with your mind. If you don't build your brain, if you're not learning new stuff, if you're not really using your brain every day, it's like not cleaning your house or not cleaning your teeth or not washing your body. Your brain builds up toxic Can I go waste. a little deeper in that? Absolutely. What, so so what, uh, it, 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 has there been research to study what builds the brain more? Is it play? Is it seeing a movie that creates your imagination? Is it reading? Is it relationship? Is it what? all of the above? Is there one that does all more than the other? The, it, it's, it's how you, once again, your eye factor. If I approach a relationship with deep intensity and I really throw everything at it, I'm growing my brain very effectively. If I take material and I study it intensively so that I can understand it and I can actually teach it, that's more effective than if I just took it and just scanned through it. Or if I just approach the relationship in terms of comparing across them, it's all dependent on how you are using your perception, how you're using your mind. That builds health into the brain.